Hey everyone, Tracy at Mystically Divine Tarot. How's everyone today? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to the channel and welcome to today's Pick a Card reading. Today we will be asking Spirit what's going on in your Twin Flame connection. So what's going on between you and your counterpart at this time? Okay, always remember that these are timeless readings. So at this time means whenever you're coming across this reading because time doesn't exist on the level of energy, okay? Also keep in mind that these are general readings, so not all messages will resonate for everyone. Just take what resonates for you and leave the rest behind. If you're interested in a uh, private reading, the information will be in the description box below and also at the end of each section of this video, okay? So today we have three tarot decks and three crystals to choose from. For crystal number one, we have the green fluorite crystal with the mystical manga tarot. For crystal number two, we have the citrine crystal with the gilded tarot royale. And for crystal number three, the Lapis Lazuli Crystal with the Tarot of the Divine. Okay, so choose which crystal or card resonates with you most and I will see you in your reading. If you resonated with crystal number one, the Green Fluorite Crystal and the Mystical Manga Tarot, this will be your reading. Okay, crystal number one. So today we are asking Spirit, what's going on in your Twin Flame connection? So let's see what's going on for you guys. Crystal number one. Ooh, and it stood right up over here <laughs> against the deck box beneath the surface. Wow. So yeah, and it stood right up like this. So I feel like it, it's kind of like it's right in your person's awareness is what I'm feeling. Like their feelings are really starting to come up to the surface here. They have a lot to say, a lot of feelings to express to you. Hmm. Okay, let's get the tarot. For crystal number one, what's going on in their twin flame connection? Nine of Wands, nice. So this is about perseverance, really pushing forward, you know, finishing up some sort of a healing phase, okay? Now healing doesn't, no one's ever fully healed, but I feel like this is some sort of a healing phase. Could have to do with this throat chakra issue. Before this reading, I was already having to clear my throat. Um, and they're hiding something. They're keeping their feelings right beneath the surface here. But I do feel like they're coming up, like I said. So it's kind of like, it's almost like it's pressing on them. Ooh, look at this. As soon as I started shuffling again, the magician. Yeah, it's like their feelings are coming up and they're about to let them flow. And the magician. So there is some sort of manifestation going on here. They're really focusing on creating some sort of change in this connection. Okay, let's get more. Crystal number one. What's going on in there? Ooh, <laughs> wow. All right, crystal number one. Wow, I wasn't expecting the emperor, but here he is. This is the healed divine masculine, you know, this is your counterpart. If you're, if you resonate, of course, with the divine feminine. Um, and of course, we're talking about energy, not gender. So it doesn't have to be a man for divine masculine. It doesn't have to be a woman for divine feminine. Okay, always keep that in mind. We're talking about the energies because we all embody both. Okay, but your divine masculine here is really feeling stronger, more confident, ready to push forward. Hmm, this is a nice reading so far. Okay, I really, I wasn't sure with that beneath the surf. Ooh, with the beneath the surface, because I was feeling like it's boiling right up, it's like right there, ready to come out. So that is why, because they're feeling stronger and more confident, ready to say what they're feeling. Hmm interesting the world so big cycle completing 
Okay, big cycle completing in their life. Mm. Okay, so yeah, there's a big cycle completing and a new cycle beginning. So whatever that means for your person, nothing specific coming through. Could be a lot of different things. These are general readings. We might get more with the clarifiers or more may come through as we go along. But let's see. Get some clarifying cards here. The Nine of Wands. We're going to be using the Light Seer's Tarot here. I want to see if there's some mirroring energy going on here. Ace of Wands. Passionate new start. So they're ready to push forward and start out with passion. Uh, really coming forward. They could be very flirty, very romantic with you. Really wanting to be next to you. Have some physical touch. Very attracted to you. Magnetized. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. Whoa. So you can see them here. <laughs> I don't know if you know what they are, but this is the emperor again. So this is very strong. I get goosebumps. And the three of cups. So yeah, for the completion of a cycle for some of you, not for all of you, it's not coming out here. It's coming out here. But for some of you, Spirit really sending this message home here with the Emperor coming out with the Three of Cups. It could be a romantic relationship that's ending in their life. Okay, um, a marriage or a relationship of some sort that they're manifesting that change. Okay, so there is big change and they're manifesting it in this situation. Okay, let's see what else. The Emperor, why the Emperor? And there's that mirror. So with the two emperors coming out in two different decks. So I do feel like you're both kind of on the same page at this point. We have two here. You're both on the same page at this point. We have the star, which is about healing and moving forward. Yeah, hope for the future. Divine intervention, divine timing. So it's time. The wheel is also about karma, getting off that wheel of karma, ending karma contracts, you know, cutting ties with people that are no longer serving um, or relationships that have run their course. Mm. And the hope for the future is this new beginning. Wow. So yeah, Divine Masculine really worked on healing here. Lots of healing energy there with that star card beautiful mm. okay let's see this world let's see what comes through here now it could be a different message for other people because i do feel like this could be different for some of you okay it might not be a third party situation where your person was with someone else it might be something else that's why it's coming through this way so we'll see the world card why the world card for crystal number one What's going on in this twin flame connection? Why the world? Here we go. We have, yeah, oh yeah, okay. They were being pulled in two directions, okay? And again, this could be a lot of different things. They were feeling pulled in two directions. It could have been family. Uh, it could have been, you know, work, location. This is about travel, this card too. So it definitely could be about location. But we do have yin and yang coming through again, this black and white horse. And I feel like this is about wanting to choose that correct path. End the cycle that they know is no longer right for them. And get into this new cycle that they feel is the right path for them. Let's get some oracle cards here to further clarify for crystal number one. What's going on in their twin flame connection? What's going on in this twin flame connection for crystal number one? Mm, nice. Warrior woman. Okay. Have you answered your deepest calling? So your person is feeling called, okay? Now, like I said earlier, with the, with the Divine Masculine, the Emperor, 
we all embody both energies. So I feel like this is saying here that they've balanced their energy and they're ready to push forward like this wounded warrior with warrior woman. Have you answered your deepest calling? So their deepest calling is this connection, okay? Coming together, shining your lights together and helping to increase the frequency of the planet. Hmm. They're, they're feeling very called to do that at this time. You know, this is a process. This situation, this connection is all about the soul's evolution and raising the frequency of the planet. And it comes in stages, you know, things happen as they're supposed to. You know, we can't go from low dense 3D energy into 5D um, in the snap of a finger because our bodies just wouldn't be able to handle it, you know. It has to come in stages. Nice, yeah, look at this. Here it is. Talking exactly about what I was just talking about. Birthing a new age, right? Raising the frequency of the planet. Birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. So see, your person is working with universal energy here and really, oh, wanting you to say yes to. <laughs> I love it. Okay, Spirit bringing the bottom of the deck to my attention. But yeah, really focusing on being that love. Okay, the love. That's what it's all about. That's what this whole entire journey is about. Your soul's evolution back to who you truly are, which is love. And to help increase just being in other people's presence in that love energy can help to raise the frequency of the planet and that's what you're meant to do come together and do that together just being is enough okay <laughs> and that is what and they're hoping you say yes <laughs> that came through at the bottom of the deck just like that they hope you say yes so they could be you know hoping that you know you know hoping that you're on the same page you are according to this energy here but they're hoping that you're on the same page with them. Okay. What? Okay, that was fast from this deck. Baby step. What was I talking about? We can't go from 3D to 5D in the blink of an eye, right? No, exactly. Look at this. Baby steps. Action. Follow your intuition before it makes sense. Ah, see, believing in the unknown. So they are starting to follow their intuition and they are taking those baby steps just like our energy has to take baby steps, you know? Mmm, very, very nice. This is good. This is growth. This is beautiful. Let's get more. What's going on in your twin flame connection? Yeah, I felt really drawn to pulling these starseed and lightworker cards into this, this reading today. Um, in private readings, I usually do use these for Twin Flames, or at least I used to. And then kind of, I don't know, it kind of just, they fell away. There, there's so many decks around. And I was just like, I seen them today. And I was like, oh, I need those. <laughs> so it's definitely meant to be that these messages here are coming through. The Golden Children, look at this. Wow. Love it. Love it, love it. Yeah, inner child, tenderness, innocence, rare gifts. Tapping in, 444, four, four, because I had to pause because of my throat a couple times, but 444 four, four just crossed this new video timer. <laughs> of course, it won't match up in the video because after editing and everything, they never do. Um, but yeah, this is exploring your rare gifts and 444 coming through there. Your angels and guides are with you, helping you, guiding you, and your person. Hmm. This is a big shift. This is good. Good energy. What do they do with that deck? Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. Since we got three there, I'm going to look for one more out of this deck too. I don't know why I'm feeling pulled to do that, so... I'm going to get another one out of here. So 
So there's a big cycle completing, forward movement, clearing karma, possibly working on manifesting, um, disconnecting from a third party for some of you. That could be that completion of a cycle. Could be about location or travel for some of you as well, or a job or something like that. There we go. Star family. Mm -hmm. You're part of a team of souls calling in support. See, so your soul is leading the way and calling in support as it's needed. You get what, same thing with these readings. Like they're always meant to confirm what your intuition is telling you, right? But your guides won't give me anything that you're not supposed to know at this time anything nothing so if 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 it is not time for you to realize something know something have confirmation of something it won't come through you know until it's time everything is divinely orchestrated okay let's get more what's going on in this twin flame connection for crystal number one Ooh. Mm, yes. Yep. Illumination. Nice. So I'm being called to read it. Wow. All right. Let's do it. Meet Glow. Oh, I'll hold it up for you. Meet Glow. She shines her warm light into our dark places. She illuminates our fears and our shadows, giving us the courage to face them, to unravel them, and to bring healing. Sometimes it may seem easier to take the long route around the dark forest within, but Glow knows that true ease comes from presence, not avoidance. So carry her with you as you journey into the depths of your heart and soul. Let her loving light warm the places of shame, hurt, sadness, disappointment, anger, and guilt she can turn the darkest twisted forest into a golden cove of love. Wow. So see what's happening here? All the healing that you've done, transmuting all of that negative energy, shame, hurt, sadness, disappointment, anger, and guilt, transmuting it into a cove of love. Wow. Okay. Beautiful very very beautiful <laughs> okay let's get more so yeah things are getting lighter brighter more beautiful loving this reading wow okay let's get more <laughs> crystal number one please what's going on in this twin flame connection so there's definitely more love within shining brighter Shining brighter, shining brighter. You know, it keeps shining brighter. We have two here. Ooh, and I'm dropping them. I cannot pick them up. Reunion. Nice. And happiness. Ooh. Yeah, so reunion and happiness. This is beautiful. So yeah, coming back together will make both of you extremely happy. Both of you. And that's, that's exactly what... You know, I'm feeling here, this Ace of Wands, passionate new start, this new cycle beginning. It's about coming back together and being happy and shining that beautiful love energy to everyone surrounding you. Okay, this one fell out immediately. Finding balance, yeah. So that's that card here. And I am told that is the one. Also Libra. And then we have Leo, Sagittarius. Leo and Sagittarius, that's it. So for now, okay. For now, that's it. Leo and Sagittarius and then Libra finding a balance. So definitely balance within. Balance is key. Key. Okay. So this is really good. All right. Wow. What else for crystal number one? What's going on in this twin flame connection? Pisces. P 
Pisces and Scorpio coming through this Three of Cups. Okay. So it could be that you're, maybe that is your person who's in a third party, or it just could be that, you know, that is your, your star sign or your sun, moon, rising. Eh, dropping everything. Ah. Isra. Ooh, look at this. Dreaming of each other. Escape dreams and fantasy. Yeah, nice. So you've been dreaming of each other. You might be having a lot of intense dreams of your person um, together. Together. So you're both having them. You're, you're sharing dreams at this time is what I'm feeling there. Sharing dreams. Fantasizing about one another. Mm, I love thinking about you to escape. Wow. Also coming through there too. To escape. Yeah, there's something that someone is wanting to escape here. Let me put this back before I even try to... So I don't drop all the cards. Yeah, wow. Look at this. So this is about cycles, right? Relationship cycles. So I feel like this is about time. Like there's no more running and chasing. Uh, not with this energy. I'm not feeling that here. I'm feeling like you're, you're both standing still. You both kind of surrendered, accepted, uh, just allowing things to unfold. Okay. Um, there's also someone with a cycle and yeah, they could be. That could be what this is here. Realizing this cycle that needs to end. Yeah. So there's a realization coming through here too. Of a cycle that needs to end. Which I feel is this here. Okay. Let's get one of these. Opening to discovery. Nice. Yeah, so, ooh, sacred reverence on the bottom, too. Nice, and birds of a feather. So they're wanting to flock together. So they're wanting to, with this one, they're wanting to flock together coming through. So they're wanting to work with you. This could be energetically working together, the higher selves energetically connecting, working together to complete some sort of cycle. And Sacred Reverence is one of the top Twin Flame cards in the deck for me as a reader, not all readers. Um, but yeah, the key. Look at the key. There's keys on both of these. Okay. Um, I feel like you are each other's key. You know, like you complete each other here. This whole heart is the two of you together. Okay, and the key is there. And then discovery, opening to discovery. So ready for newer experiences. Okay, so ready to experience life in a whole new way is what I'm getting there. Let's get some mess. Wait, did I get this one? I didn't get this one. I think I planned on this one. Yes. Let me get this one out and then we'll get message cards. <laughs> What's going on in this twin flame connection for crystal number one? Ooh. Door to value. Yeah. Seeing the value in this relationship. You know, seeing that this is very important. This is a very important connection. Realizing the value in it. Okay, so you've both realized. You've both accepted. You both have trust and faith. Mm, very nice. Okay, let's get you some message cards from your person. What would crystal number one's person want to say to them at this time? Crystal number one's counterpart. I want you. <laughs> yeah, they want you now. They don't want to wait any longer. That was a fast message to it. It really just came out. Like I barely even shuffled. And it was already flying out of the deck. What else? Crystal number one's counterpart. What would, thank you. You are the best thing in my life. Wow, beautiful. Yep. They know this is special. They know it's important. Th 
thank you for blessing me with your love. So grateful for you. That attitude of gratitude is really drawing things in. I have sexual fantasies about you all the time. Yeah, I hope you feel my love. That was definitely coming through already. Yep. You guys are dreaming. You're having this fantasies going on for sure about each of you. I think both of you are both experiencing that in some way or some form. I want to express how much I love you. Yeah, so this person's really wanting to, you know, because a lot of times Divine Masculine uh, won't necessarily express how they're feeling. They hold back a lot, right? So I feel like this is them really wanting to open up and share. Like that first card was saying, it's kind of like right there. It's like boiling up. It's ready to run out. You know, it's ready to come out of their mouth. I will always love you. Yes, of course. Your your counterpart loves you always. Even when you're not with them. You are always connected. Separation is an illusion. I will do all that is necessary to get back to you. Yeah, so they and look at getting off the wheel of karma, ending some sort of third party, finishing a cycle. Maybe not a third party, but maybe um, also on that one. But either way, ending some sort of cycle, doing whatever is necessary. And there it is again. I am holding back so many emotions. Yeah, they get a lot to say. There is a lot of emotion coming out. <laughs> they really want to tell you a whole lot of things, okay? <laughs> beautiful a beautiful energy coming through for you guys today crystal number one i really do hope that this reading was helpful as always give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next reading if you resonated with crystal number two the citrine crystal oops and the gilded tarot royale this will be your reading okay crystal number two so today we are asking spirit what's going on in your twin flame connection so let's see for crystal number two what's going on in their twin flame connection we have oh bringer of change nice so big changes and transformations are coming okay for the two of you here hmm yeah i'm already feeling like kind of like a union energy coming through that card hmm interesting okay let's get the tarot gilded tarot royale for you guys for crystal number two what's going on in their twin flame connection what's going on in their twin flame connection eight of cups so there's a walking away happening okay that would definitely create a big transformation someone walking away from something emotional we'll get more with the clarifiers of course crystal number two six of cups there's that reconnection okay feeling reconnection coming so there's definitely a change coming in how you're interacting with one another if you've been at a distance or no contact i feel like this is contact coming in or some sort of reconnection happening there's also a lot of butterflies on that card as well Ooh, the magician butterflies here as well okay and here so i feel like you know a lot of transformation between you and it's about coming together because that came through on the first card magician so definitely feeling the very strong soul bond that you share you know twin flames are energetically connected always you are the same soul essence so this person is feeling the power of this connection and really wanting to manifest this change so there's something that they are manifesting here And of course, again, we'll get more with the clarifiers. And I don't know, this one here, it is like an offer. Mm. So 
see that big pentacle there right in front of the magician there i feel like it is some sort of coming forward some sort of union coming together or something okay anyway let's get more for crystal number two what's going on in their twin flame connection what's going on in their twin flame connection please for crystal number two there it is ah, the ace of pentacles that's hilarious <laughs> i was feeling it before it came out well there it is there's a huge pentacle on top of this stag okay um yeah ace of pentacles beautiful so this is a big offer in the physical big long term i'm also noticing like in the middle of this here it's just like a big sun you know it's very beautiful lots of happiness on the way here hmm nice energy loving it okay let's get some clarifiers we're going to use the traditional manga tarot for your clarifiers today see if we can get some mirroring energy going on here let's see what happens with that for crystal number two so big change feeling like they want to come in with some sort of a big offer some sort of reconnection eight of cups i ah, can't flip it over ah nine of swords something that's so walking away from something that's caused them a lot of anxiety a lot of anxiety and sleepless nights taking you know walking away from it saying i've had enough i can't do this anymore six of cups reconnecting transformation some sort of offer here page of wands yeah so you might be getting some exciting news from this person with the page of wands coming in okay you might be hearing something that lets you know that they're desiring reconnection you know it might even be them just saying you know i want to be with you um working on you know whatever this is here we're going to see what the magician has to say next um and, and you know it might be exciting for you because it's a it's a push in the right direction is what i'm feeling whoa yeah clarity okay ace of swords is what the magician here is working on gaining clarity clarity on a new beginning two aces all about new beginning here reconnection i was feeling union at the first card out and that bringer of change is a card about big change okay big change all right let's get the ace of pentacles clarifier for that one for crystal number two what's going on in their twin flame connection oh my goodness i am loving that the sun fell out right on top because i already seen the sun on that one and then we have the fool with it nice okay yeah look at this happiness joy bliss oh heaven on earth it's coming the fool taking that leap of faith knowing that it's the right path just knowing having clarity on it wow this is absolutely beautiful i love this reading <laughs> okay let's get some more let's get oracle cards now for crystal number two these cards here the next two decks i haven't used in a while starseed and lightworker um decks i was really really drawn to these today for this reading i used to use them a lot in private readings for twin flames um but as the decks grew they kind of you know ended up at the back and like you know like kind of hidden away and i'm like oh i really want to use these today Ooh, nice look at this yes wow that's powerful there's a couple messages coming through here but protection that's here okay this is them protecting themselves calling back their power cutting the cords and retrieving their soul soul retrieval 
They were feeling like they had lost their soul in the process of whatever this is that was called causing them anxiety. Okay. Um, and the other message was about protecting you. So I feel like with protecting you, I feel like that's saying there that they may be at a distance while they're working through this. Okay. And that's why reconnection is coming through. So they may have just kept you at arm's length. They might have ghosted you. They might have just, you know, stepped away. And that might just be for some of you. Always keep in mind that these are general readings on YouTube, okay? And always, always follow your own intuition, always. Let's get more. I want to get another one of these. Actually, we're going to get three because I ended up getting three of each of these decks for crystal number one. So we're going to get three here here for you too and apparently we're getting three all at once well two more <laughs> okay so we have keepers of the earth you are not alone ancient ancestors stand beside you so feeling very guided okay by their angels so this is good because they're feeling like they know they're on the right path because they feel supported in that Oh, look at this. Who or what is triggering you? Wow. So they're seeing. They're seeing the truth in the mirror. You know? The truth of what's going on in their life right now. They're realizing it's not for them. They're not feeling triggered around you. They're feeling triggered in this situation. That's why they feel like they've lost their soul. They're feeling triggered by this anxiety or whatever the situation is. Wow. Who or what is triggering you? So it's, it's really opening their eyes. That could be their guides too. Their ancestors, their ancient ancestors guiding them to open their eyes to it. Okay. Okay, let's get more. For crystal number two, what's going on in this twin flame connection? Yes, look at this. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah, this is all about someone letting go of the past, bringing in big change for their future. Okay. Weight of the world. Look at this. Boundaries. Let it go. It's not yours to carry. Okay, so this could be a message for you too. Just let it go. It's not yours to carry. Let them deal with their stuff. But I feel that this is them too. This is, you know what? This is not mine. <laughs> this is your stuff, whatever they're dealing with here. Whoever this is that's triggering them. Okay, they're like, this isn't mine. I need to back away from this. I need to let this go. Wow. See, I knew I was drawn to these decks for a reason. That's how it works. <laughs> Just like when I'm called to read them, you know? Sometimes I, you, you guys, if you watch my channel, you know, um, I do like to say it occasionally because sometimes new people will come and they'll be like, well, why didn't you read the card? I only read them if spirit guides me to. And usually it's because spirit knows that I trust whatever comes through me is the messages that are meant for you. And if it's meant to be said in a specific way or how it's written on the card, Spirit always has me read it so it can be super specific. But otherwise, you know, um, and of course, like I said, if you're not new here, you know how I read. If you've been watching for a while now, look at this. Yes. Wow. Ooh, love this. Okay. So first one was lost lands, soul memories and gifts. You've done this before. So recognizing the soul connection between you, really realizing the power of this connection and that you are one soul sent here to come back together, to shine your lights together, to increase the frequency of the planet. Okay. Which is what this next card is about, which is birthing creations tapestry of life and expression there's two separate meanings coming through here two separate messages birthing creations is about like i was just saying really shining your lights together and that love energy 
being sent to others in the universe in on earth here really raising the frequency of the planet okay and then expression is about them wanting to express love okay so really feeling that need to come forward and express at this time so even if they haven't in the past it's it's like they're feeling that pull that call now everything comes in stages you know throughout this journey let's get more for crystal number two what's going on this twin flame connection so yeah everything is you know as it should be in the moment you know things are taken step by step one step at a time and I feel like right now is the time this is fe they're feeling really pulled to express what they're feeling for you. Whoa, got a couple there. This is Guardian, I think, again. Yeah, it is. Yeah, so they are very protective of you and of this connection, okay? They're feeling very much like, let me finish dealing with this, okay? And then we can move on, we can move forward, we can start new, you know, with clarity, not confusion, not anxiety. And then we have this one here, which is Cozy Home. And oops, I did just hit the mic there because I had to clear my throat. And we have Cozy Home. <laughs> anyway, we have Cozy Home, which is about building something solid okay so ace of pentacles big offer right physical offer so this is about really wanting to build your beautiful relationship okay your physical relationship because this connection is it's a spiritual connection it's about your soul's evolution it's about love it's about returning to who we are at the core which is love right but you're meant to come together to shine that beautiful love energy into the planet, okay? Into everyone else. Or, or people surrounding you will pick up on this beautiful energy and it will help to raise their vibration as well. Just your presence, just being. So it is meant for you to come together to shine extremely bright, you know? You, you shine brightly on your own. You are whole. You're still a whole individual. But together, it's like amplified. Okay? But this is about really coming together in the physical and building a beautiful relationship that others can really be inspired by. Okay? Very beautiful. What else for crystal number two? Soul connection. Yeah. <laughs> that's a funny card to come out for sure it's definitely a soul connection and that could be just for you know someone here might be doubting you know is this really a soul connection that i'm feeling maybe someone here is wondering if this is truly what they're feeling and that's why that card is coming through because just because you're watching a twin flame reading doesn't mean that you're absolutely positive, right? Sometimes you might have doubt. The doubt is probably in your mind. It's what you feel inside. You know. You will know. And only you know if this is your twin flame, you know? Take a breather. So taking some time out. Yeah, there's definitely, like I said, for some of you, there's a distance. And they're taking that breather for a reason, for a reason we have cancer gemini aquarius that's it for now <laughs> that's it for now okay that's it for now um cancer gemini and aquarius gemini and aquarius coming through here on this nine of swords um as I was talking about this one, I was pointed here for the other two, okay? Um, so taking a breather is, I feel, and it could, oh yeah, that could be this too. This could be that this is connected. This is why they're taking a breather. 
because whatever they're in right now is causing so much anxiety that trying not to add to it okay they're really that's why they might be just at a distance from you and trying not to involve you in this situation all right crystal number two what's going on in this twinkling connection for crystal number two I do feel like your person is having trouble speaking some sort of truth because I have had to pause the video for my throat chakra blocking. That energy is so powerful when it happens. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, wanting that new path. Yeah, renewal. So they are really feeling guided once again by their angels and they want this new path they definitely want renewal here renewal of them they feel their own soul okay because they did feel like they were losing themselves at some point oh all right <laughs> i was going for one but three came flying on out okay so we have first one sadness second one courage third one cycles okay hmm yeah so your person is experiencing some sadness trying to overcome the cycle in their life okay this has been an ongoing thing that's how it's coming through an ongoing thing so I feel like this is something that's repeated a few times for them in their life they might have been in a long-term relationship where they kept, you know, like breaking up, getting back together, breaking up, getting back together, something like that. But now they're gaining this courage to overcome it, okay? And you see how this here, it's like this person is that this is the cycle that was happening that was causing them sadness. It was like they would they would gain the courage, they would try to leave, and then this person would kind of latch on, and then they would give in. It, it, that's really strongly coming through for someone. And of course, this does not have to be everyone's situation, right? Because these are general readings, but this is coming through pretty strongly for someone. So I feel like your person has gone round and round um, with someone really kind of holding them not physically holding them captive, but energetically kind of keeping them stuck. Okay. Mm. And it created a lot of sadness for them because they knew they wanted more. But now they're gaining that courage to move forward. So that's a good sign that courage came out with it. And I definitely feel like I just had to pause the video again because my throat clogged. I feel like it's about this situation that they're having trouble speaking. Mm. It could be to you too. I mean, higher view. 41. 41 and a higher view. So they're taking, they're looking at things from a different perspective now, okay? They're starting to look at things, you know, and really see that this is all an illusion and that our reality is created through our thoughts and our energy, right? So they're starting to realize their power, you know, taking their power back. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like they've you know, maybe giving away their power for too long. Okay, and now they're taking their power back, so that's good. We have one more, and then I want to get you some message cards, too, from your person. What's going on in this twin flame connection for crystal number two? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for showing me the card. I should say, well, I, I have asked spirit, but it's hard because the energy works through me. So I have said, can you please just show me the card and not make my throat clog up? Because <laughs> it can be very uncomfortable, but it's okay. Here it is. There's their throat chakra. So they are working on it, okay? And Archangel Gabriel is here with you in your reading today, visiting you today as well so but
but they are working on it there I feel like with this card coming through it's definitely an indication I literally mentioned it a second ago um, and or a few minutes and here it goes again well I do feel like they're struggling with it though they really are they're having a hard time speaking the truth I feel like your person is a good person and they don't want to hurt anyone but at the same time they really have to speak their truth for themselves you know um, but I do feel like that's a struggle for this person. Okay, let's get some message cards here for crystal number two. All right, let's see what else. Message cards, please. Wow, very big message out first. I love you with every fiber of my being. Definitely one of those twin flame energies there. This is not only you know it's it's more than soul love it's like everything it's emotional it's physical it's energetic it's spiritual it's you know it's just all of those things it's such a beautiful connection and they love you with every fiber of their being Woo. mind body body heart soul everything you know no one loves me like you do yeah, they feel how special it is, you know? They do. They feel that special love energy from you. It's absolutely beautiful. What else would Crystal Number Two's Twin Flame want to say to them right now? Wow, I will be honored to share my last name with you. So they're looking for long term. They want to get married here, I feel. And that might just be for some of you, but sharing the last name is usually indicative of a human 3d marriage okay you're already spiritually ooh, you're already spiritually married and look at the mess i made <laughs> one card fell out and all that almost just went crazy i feel your presence with me always yeah very very powerful with twin flames always knowing that your your counterpart is with you you just have to quiet the noise right and drop into your heart space you'll feel them there they feel you there so that's beautiful i'll never let you go yeah no there's never a letting go with a twin flame there's a surrendering but a letting go or giving up yeah that doesn't usually happen you know um I mean, everyone, I guess, has free will and can, but can give up, walk away, go be with a soulmate. Absolutely. I'm sure it can happen, but it's never quite the same. So I'm sorry if I hurt you. That was never my intention. Yeah. So if they pulled away or did whatever it is, because these are general readings, so it could be a lot of different things. It definitely wasn't their intention. Your twin flame would never intentionally hurt you. Even with words, they would not intentionally do that. Okay, that's their ego. I want you for the long term. Wow, coming right out under that marriage card. Yeah, so for some of you, that's very powerfully a message that they want you to know. I've never felt this way in my entire life so special so beautiful all right crystal number two well that is what i have for you for today i really do hope that this reading was helpful please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already have a wonderful day and i will see you in the next reading if you resonated with crystal number three the lapis lazuli crystal and the tarot of the divine this will be your reading okay crystal number three so today we are asking spirit what's going on in your twin flame connection okay so let's see what's going on for you guys today crystal number three what is going on in their twin flame connection please Ooh, immortality. Wow. This is a very powerful twin flame energy coming through first. 
card 22 feeling the immortality of this connection the you know this is eternal this is an eternal bond we are eternal beings our inner being is eternal you are timeless you know feeling that connection so this is powerful this is almost like a realization or an acceptance and my throat clogged up there so maybe a throat chakra blockage <laughs> oh. That's been very apparent in this whole entire reading. So I feel like for some of you, either the same energy is coming through for some of you and you might have been drawn to other piles as well, or I don't know, there's something going on here. Because sometimes I'll do, you know, three pick a, a pick a card is three, you know, three separate readings, right? And I'll do one and it'll be fine. And then I'll do another one and it won't be. And then I'll do the third one and it'll be fine. Um, so it's it's strange that all three the throat chakra has been acting up so okay let's see for crystal number three nothing coming out so i feel like this has been slow moving already feeling that wow and then they flew out two together fancy queen of wands page of coins okay so feeling very passionate about you feeling very drawn to you very magnetized to you page of coins though small offer possibly coming okay this might be a conversation you know something it might not be something huge we'll see what comes out further down the road here but this is something small for some of you that it could even be as simple as you haven't heard from them in a while and then you get a message okay it could be that simple which is beautiful when you're <laughs> you're kind of waiting you're like oh i hope my divine masculine or my divine feminine contacts me and then bam there they are it's like a beautiful thing so even though it's a small thing it can mean a lot feeling very magnetized toward you so yeah end of a painful cycle of separation wow that's a huge message there end of a painful cycle of separation this distance has been really tough on me i just heard wow hooey yeah so this has been pretty uh slow <laughs> and the distance has been quite lengthy or the time frame of this separation possibly could have been quite lengthy for some of you but the end of that painful cycle is coming so that's a good thing ten of swords is about the end of a painful cycle or a painful ending you know um but this is about that painful cycle coming to an end so that's good let's get one more before we get clarified oh we have the magician nice so manifesting change very good energy yeah feeling very powerful connecting with the universe and watching the magic unfold Ooh, so they're seeing um evidence of something here they are seeing evidence they might be working on manifesting they might be trying to manifest other things and those things are starting to materialize and then they're like hey that worked you know it, that's what i'm kind of getting it's like whoa that worked i'm gonna try it with this now <laughs> so yeah this is really good really really good let's get some clarifiers i'm gonna use the cat tarot i was feeling called to use different tarot decks for clarifiers to see if we have some mirroring energy going on multiple of the same energy coming through all yeah first one out is beautiful it's not a mirroring energy but it's okay it's a beautiful energy king of cups um look at this peace and harmony with those dolphins in the background um queen of wands they're feeling very magnetized to you divine masculine is loving you feeling it very deeply Ooh, love it very nice energy there page of coins for crystal number three yeah i mean they're feeling the immortality of this connection they're feeling the eternal bond between you they know that you are the one you know 
they have this deep inner knowing here page of coins ah another page page of cups so it's about their daydreams okay so they've been dreaming something up they've been dreaming something up that they want to offer you and again it could be something small lilies it could be even lilies okay lilies for someone see the lilies there it could even be like a bouquet of lilies okay for someone but it's something they've been dreaming up doing whatever this is so this has been on their mind even though it might be a small thing or it might seem small for them this is big yeah this is important to them whatever this is okay very important to them okay ten of swords why the ten of swords what is this did that just fall off the bottom i don't know when i picked it up i don't think i picked up the whole deck okay let's try again ten of swords temperance yeah it's taken a long time thank you for your patience so it has taken a long time whatever this situation is that's been painful this separation it's kind of gone on for quite a long time so i feel like this is about wanting to create change you know feeling uh very drawn to you feeling that love kind of bursting out of them um wanting to offer you something that really is important to them something they've really dreamed of oh magician three of cups okay this particular three of cups okay they're manifesting walking away from someone else for some of you because this particular three of cups in this deck if you notice it's three of cups but there's only two cats present okay so it's the love triangle that's no longer a triangle it's just the two of you so this is beautiful this is union energy for me the magician and that card coming out this is wanting to come together in union um you know eliminating outside influence regardless if it's romantic or not um with this card i always do pick up that romantic type vibe like it's a relationship or a marriage coming to an end but it doesn't have to be okay this is a general reading after all so it could be something else for your person and you would know better than any reading on youtube okay <laughs> Um, your intuition knows best always okay so these cards here the next two decks are starseed and light worker decks that i um haven't used in a while i used to use them a lot in private readings for twin flames but i haven't used them in a while you know the decks kind of get you know rearranged and there's so many that it's like they get forgotten for a little while but i seen them today and i was like oh, i need those for this reading so i felt really drawn to them and they they've been sending through some really amazing insight and messages for you guys so let's see for crystal number three what's going on in this twin flame connection and talking longing for home yeah missing you wow feel like they belong yeah with you they feel like they belong they're missing you longing for home the original light workers look at that that's about coming together wanting to be together to shine your lights it's beautiful the original light workers what else I was getting like two of each, but then three came out for crystal number one. So I got three. So we're going to do three of each of these decks today. Since you haven't seen them in a while, we'll use a few of them. <laughs> You're already doing it. Look at this. I love it. Stop overthinking and keep facing your true north. See? So this is the end of possibly a cycle of overthinking right there could have been a lot of ego or overthinking going on really causing a lot of upheaval balancing those energies out transmuting that negative energy because when we're overthinking it's usually negativity 
right? It's what could go wrong. It's stopping that cycle. So very good. Ooh, yeah, and grounding, right? See, getting grounded. Highly sensitive and connecting with nature. So instead of connecting with negativity, it's quieting the mind. Look at this pose. He's very in, in a meditative pose there, right? He's quieting the mind, stopping the overthinking, and really connecting with source. So this is beautiful. Very good. Because this will create balance within, right? When the energy is all over the place, you feel out of balance. You feel you know, n like not yourself, you know. Let's see. Serious energy bringing harmony and balance. <laughs> yeah, more about harmony and balance, see. Beautiful energy. So messenger. Yeah, so it's about harmony and balance here. That came through immediately on the King of Cups too. Peace and harmony harmony and balance. So this is really beautiful energy between you. Energy indicating like that union could take place, you know, balance is essential, essential. Because you are this is a very energetic connection. Okay, it's it's energetic. You're always connected to your twin flame. Okay, so this is about your soul's evolution. Returning back to who you are at the core, which is love, peace, joy, okay? Once you get there, if you can maintain that balance, that's when, you know, the energies can reside together side by side, you know? So balance is key. Because the push-pull, all of that energy is very... Um, counterproductive to this connection and of course this is a very spiritual connection right it's about your soul's evolution but you are supposed to come together to shine your lights together to shine that beautiful love energy to the planet I've been called to say that in every single reading I don't know why <laughs> wow in this reading today I mean the courageous, puny, multifaceted, unique nature. Let yourself be seen. Wow. So really wanting to reveal their true self, okay, which is love at the core. Remember what I was saying about ego, right? Ego is, or overthinking, it's negativity in the mind. And this is where you are at the core, your soul, love. So really wanting to shine that beautiful light who they truly are all right that was almost half a deck and that was not what, what i was intending okay let's try to shuffle that properly for crystal number three what's going on in this twin flame connection for crystal number three whoop that's more than one <laughs> but that's okay <laughs> it's okay I feel like I'm needing to take them. Especially the way they really rocket shipped out there, huh? <laughs> All right, let's see what they are. We have the golden children. Oh, wow. The great severing in the void. Wow. So the golden children is kind of what I was just talking about. Um, feeling that tenderness, that love, right? The innocence of pure love rare gifts so really utilizing your gifts your spiritual gifts which you know people say purpose purpose shining your light and sharing that beautiful love with the planet just being in other people's presence in that energy is a gift okay the great severing look at this softening to love mars energy anger conflict softening to love so this could be a situation from their past, this painful ending. There was definitely some negativity that was keeping you apart, overthinking going on, possibly a third party situation for some, could have been a very toxic situation they were in as well. But the great severing, cutting those cords, letting it go, 
softening to love instead, not allowing that negativity to take over. Okay. And then the void. Yeah, this is, we got, okay, there we go. We had complete blur. Um, stop, embrace winter, great cosmic womb. What I'm feeling with the void is that this is about slowing down, not always rush, 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 calm down, being in a calm place, being more peaceful, more loving, more patient, not impatience, you know, like leaving behind all of those energies that can be counterproductive to your soul's evolution. So entering the void, really focusing now on the inner self, transforming the outer world. Hmm, interesting. So yeah, someone's really focused on inner, yeah, the inner world, which is where it all begins, you know, in the inside. What we feel on the inside is what we experience in our reality. Whoa, almost dropped the deck again. Wow, this has been an ongoing thing for me today. I think it because it's a little bit cold. <laughs> it's a little bit chilly in here today. We had a little bit of snow. It wasn't, it didn't stick anything to anything. I don't know if anyone out there um, is from an area that snows, but it was the first sign for me of snow um today it was just a tiny little flurry this morning i let my dog out and there they were little flurries and then nothing stuck to the ground the next time i went out there uh to see there was nothing so i was like oh see slow moving cards okay we got two though that flipped here two that stuck out Slow moving cards though. Again, slow moving connection. I feel like this was quite a long, and again, it might only be for some of you, but I do feel like it was a quite a long separation, a painful cycle of separation, especially with that temperance card coming out with it. But we have these two here that came out together here, slowly coming out. <laughs> I talked about all that snow while these weren't coming out. So, um, peace and synchronicity. Nice. So yeah, another card about peace and harmony and the universe really sending you both signs right now. So you're both really tapped in. Um, the universe knows you're paying attention, feels it in your energy, sending you signs. Everything is on track. Everything is working out. Have faith, trust. Okay, let's see what else. What's going on in this twin flame connection? So this is beautiful energy. This piece right here, that's huge. And it's come through a few times. So that is big. Okay, very big. The energy has to be balanced and calm and peaceful. Ooh, that's a nice one. Engagement. So, oh, and divine timing. Spirit pulling that one from the, oh and third party okay <laughs> definitely came through already but for some of you it could be a different situation is what I'm feeling it might not be a romantic situation for your person because we'll start with this one because this is my deck so you know I I created this so I know how the cards for me of course right how everyone else interprets them is their own thing and that's okay because that's what we're supposed to do with these cards. But when I created them, I knew the feeling that I had about them, okay? So this third party card, even though it has three red roses, that means it could be a romantic situation. But there is a leaving partner card that's the same that is about a romantic situation. This one, on the other hand, can indicate a romantic situation and it can indicate a not romantic situation. Okay, so, and that came through here. Like it might not be romantic for some of you. So for some of you, this third party, whatever it is, might be a job, could be other things, okay? Uh, family, you know, a mom, a dad, uh, you know, friend groups. It could be a lot of different things. So I feel like that's coming through spirit, bringing that to my attention at the bottom to let someone know that, yes, this does apply to you. <laughs> Even though it's not a romantic situation, this does apply to you too. Okay. 
And then we have engagement and divine timing. So your person is really looking at long term with you, you know, really looking at the future is what I'm feeling here, really kind of focused on what they desire. And divine timing is at play. So everything will work out the way it should in divine timing. Oh, wow, that was fast. Go for it. Nice. Oh, here come the signs. Nice. We have Aries coming through on this card. And then we have Cancer, Scorpio. Is that it? Pisces. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. That's all that's coming through right now besides Aries, but maybe more will come through later. A go for it. So yeah, really feeling like I want to get this done. Queen of Wands, feeling so emotional and so magnetically drawn to you. They just want to go for this. They want to get this done. They want to do whatever this is that's really important to them too. Even if it's small, they really want to get this done and get to you. Very nice. Let's get more. Thank you. That was fast. This one came out fast. Let's see what this one's all about. Ooh, She Who Begins. Primavera launch actualize and potential yeah actualize right so they want to make this an actual reality this transformation in their life look at this all these butterflies wow they want to transform both of your lives with this okay they want to bring it into their reality that's why the magician is here and she who begins, that means the action is being taken and it came out right after go for it. So I feel like there's definitely a lot of action being taken here, even if you're not seeing it in the 3D. <laughs> wow, now these are coming out super fast. Pay attention to the signs. Wow. Card 10, somebody 10, number 10. Okay, pay attention to the signs. Now you're getting them. And so is your person, I feel. We had synchronicity come through with peace. So you're both getting them. It's time to pay attention to them and really focus on what next steps are or what not next steps are. You know, sometimes it's just relax. Just calm down. Things will shift and change. It's okay. And then the other person might get assigned to take action, you know? So... And everything comes in stages. Everything comes in stages, step by step. So, you know, always just pay attention to your own inner guidance system, okay? Because that's really important. Oh, merry motive, nice. Yeah, so it is really important, your own inner guidance system. A merry motive. So yeah, you both have, of course, you both have beautiful intentions. You both want this beautiful love to prosper. Very, very beautiful. Let's get one of these. And then I do have some message cards for you today too. Crystal number three. What's going on in this twin flame connection? Mm, root chakra. Archangel Michael. Cord cutting. Oh, okay. Archangel Michael, cord cutting. Cutting cords to the past. Yep, okay. Archangel Michael, that's all it's coming through. Cord cutting cords to the past. 35. Leo. Okay. Leo energy coming through there on Archangel Michael. Let's see the message cards for crystal number three. I almost forgot where I put them. I was like, where did they go? <laughs> it's like a little bit confused back here. I hope you guys don't mind my silliness. I love being silly. Anyway, I'm just being me. It's like I'm reading for a friend over coffee. That's how I feel when I'm, when I'm reading for you guys. So I hope you feel the same. Let's see what messages crystal number three's person. Thank you. Oh, you are the best thing in my life was the first one to fly out there. Yeah, very. Oh, look at that right over that queen of wands. They're so passionate about you too. You fire them up, fired up. 
What else for crystal number three? What would that person, that twin flame, want to say to them today? I am ready for our new beginning. I love you. I love it. And look at hmm. something small. Yeah, maybe it's not for some of you, but it is for some of you, you know? Ready for our new beginning. But that's falling right over that, too. Yeah, it is an offer. Either way, the page of coins is an offer coming. A new path, you know? And that says, I am ready for our new beginning. I love you. So, mm. well, they are manifesting too. So, ooh, fancy flyers. Ooh, I pray you will give me a second chance. <gasps> Falling right over that. Yeah, they're fearful a little bit. That could be why they were overthinking. Ooh. Yeah, they might have been fearful that this has taken too long. I pray you will give me a second chance. So they're hopeful that you will. Praying every night. Someone praying every night. That you will be there and give them a second chance. Wow. And of course, general reading. So it could be second, third, fourth chance. I don't know. <laughs> you know, you know that better than I do. But the, on the card it says second chance. But it could be more than that. Because these are general readings, of course. And the cards you know, say second chance, but you know how many chances you've given your person. I can't explain what I feel when I look into your eyes. Yeah, they feel that soul bond for sure. They, you know, it's powerful. It's intense. Very strong. That magnetism. I think about you all the time. Oh, sweet. Yeah, look at... He's very much in his emotions, that King of Cups, I'm telling you. His heart is just overflowing with love there. It's beautiful. Let's get more messages from, thank you. Crystal number three's, oops, upside down. Three's person. I lie awake at night wishing you were next to me. Oh, so they're wishing you were by their side. Hmm wanting to hold you close please oh look where it's falling right on temperance please be patient and don't forget about the love we share right underneath I pray you will give me a second chance oh my goodness wow okay one more here for crystal number three. Thank you. I was going to say, watch more than one come out. Oh, you are the first thing I think of when I wake up. And the last thing I think of before I fall asleep. You're very heavily on their mind. In their dreams. In their fantasies. Wow. Very beautiful. All right, crystal number three. Well, that is what I have for you for today. I really do hope that this reading was helpful. Please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading.